So have you ever wondered why people never meet their New Year's resolution? I mean, it pretty much dies off after the first month. <laughs> January, all of the fitness gyms are packed. People are out running. Everyone's all, out, all about kind of like just building a habit to lose the weight, to get in shape, to whatever it is that they want to do. Problem is, most people just fail. Right? They start to trickle off as the month goes on. And I'm no different. Last year was an extremely hard year. I had so much weight on me. I felt miserable. I was not happy. Psychologically, I was not in the game. Uh, dealing with stress, anxiety, depression, like all of these things, it, it does take a toll on, on one's mental capacity. And I was, I was in a position where something had to change with my running, with my training, and with my life to be able to get back on track. And in January, I said these are what my goals were. Fun. That's the longest that I ran the, this past year. So yeah, so I'm a failure. I'm batting one for five. One out of five. The question you're probably wondering now is, what are some Guess running what? goals that I have for this year? I didn't really achieve any of them. I, you know, being consistent, I would say, okay, I, I give myself that. I was consistent uh, in my training, in my running, and that was a good thing. But, you know, there were some months where it kind of died off, right? Some months it kind of came back all of these things and you know we don't plan to fail right we actually fail to plan and that's a quote from somewhere hold on a second my cat's trying to eat and most times people will sit down and they'll put on a piece of paper they'll say hey i'm gonna run you know a 5k in 25 minutes. I'm going to run a 5K in maybe 22 minutes. Look, I was one of those guys, right? I was always putting on my list, I'm going to lose so much weight. I'm going to run a fast, you know, 10K. I'm going to run multiple marathons. I'm going to run half marathons. I'm going to do all of these things. And it's going to put it down on paper. And then what happens is you don't even look at the paper anymore. I didn't look. I didn't, I didn't check in with myself. I didn't see what I was wanting to achieve. Last year I said I was gonna eat healthier. Well, it kinda happened for a little bit and then the wheels fell off. Set a 5K and a 10K PR. That didn't happen because I really wasn't running last year. Run earlier, build mileage. Yeah, neither of those happened either. I, I kinda lost track of it. I just got busy with work, just, you know, doing the things I needed to do to put food on the table, clothe my family, roof over their head, keep everybody safe. That's what I was doing. But one of the things that I didn't do is I didn't look after me. <laughs> right? I wasn't at the beginning of the year, I wasn't looking after me. Like I was really struggling to be able to put me first. And that was a difficult decision. I had to make some decisions with, you know, where this YouTube channel was going to go, what I was going to do, how I was going to do it. And it's only me. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a little hard, but I enjoy it. So I continued. Uh, I put out content regularly. Uh, I think I only missed a couple of weeks uh, in the whole entire year, which was fantastic because at least I was consistent with that. I was showing up for you guys, giving you showing you where I was uh, in, my, in my running journey. And, you know, there's wake up calls. Like there's like little, there's so many roadblocks that kind of come into one's life where you kind of get derailed. I don't know if you're okay. If you're like me, right? You want to look after your family. They come first. And, you know, you've got work commitments that you have to do. And you also have yourself, right? And I always found that 
if I did not get out for a run in the morning, it would get harder and harder and harder. As the day went on, the chances of me getting out and doing a run really, honestly, by one o'clock, two o'clock, I mean, it's a 50-50 chance. By three o'clock, you're looking at about 20% chance that I'm going to get a run in. So I always had to prioritize to try and make the morning happen. Like win the day, as my buddy Steve Dawson always says, win the day, win the day, win the day. And he would always say that. He would always comment on Strava with win the day. And it was. And I was, I was showing up and I was winning the day and it was amazing. But then life throws a couple of curveballs in the way and all of a sudden now you're not on track anymore. And I mean, you're not even looking at what happened in January. and Like no one's paying attention to what their resolutions, their goals were, right? No one pays attention. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if you've ever experienced that where all of a sudden if you take your eye off of the goal, the goal isn't important. The goal slowly diminishes and becomes less. And I found that that would happen because I didn't have a big enough why behind the goal, right? If the goal was just to get out and just do it because the piece of paper said that that's what I needed to do, there's not enough big enough why behind it to, to draw upon when it gets hard, when you're missing those workouts, when you're missing the runs. And so January became February, February became March, March became April, and I'm like, I didn't do it every single day. Now the first 30 days in January 2023, that's what happened. But then I've taken about, you know, 21 days off kind of in between. I've missed a couple of weeks. I was thinking at that time, I'm going to have less time to run because I'm in busy season. So if my mileage is dropping, I can probably put in some more speed work. 80% build base, 20% speed work, right? Maybe going to the track, maybe doing some 400s, maybe some 800s, maybe some tempos. You know, that's what I was thinking in my head. It kind of worked for a little while, right? It, it did work for a little while until about kind of like the middle of June, kind of July. My wife is struggling right now with a lot of mental health issues physical health conditions, uh, just a lot of stuff, right? And so I take a lot of that on myself, trying to figure out what I can do to help uh, make things easier, be supportive, these types of things. So I had a lot of stress in my life and it just seemed to be so hard. It was like a, a constant pressure on my chest. It was like I'd go out for a run and I would literally just be thinking about ways of how, how I can make things better. And I would come back home, get ready, go do my day. You know, like it just, I don't know. It was tough. But then in the end of July, maybe it was August, I think it was July, I had like this wake up call like I went out on this trail and I and I've run it before and I tried to run it and I had a very hard time trying to run this thing the amount of elevation the it was hot outside I, I kind of forgot my my water my electrolytes I, and I just I was beat down by this trail like the it just beat me down so hard. It felt amazing, but I was broken. And that was a moment of me going, do you ever want to run this 100 miler? And if the answer is yes, then what on earth are you doing right now? I'm broken. I'm outside my comfort zone now. It's, it's hard. You have no plan. You have no, you have nothing. You are in probably not the greatest shape. You're overweight. 
how the heck are you ever going to do this? And this is what's going through my head. The self-talk, oh, like it was just in my head and it was getting louder and the drum beat was getting louder and I was getting beat down. And, you know, we, as, as just human beings, we tend to be our own worst enemy. And I was allowing a lot of the negative thoughts to just permeate into my brain. And I thought, you know, it's gotta, this has got to go. This can't be. And I was beat. I was, I was broken. I was broken. And then there was something inside me that said, win the day, Dave. Win the day. And it was Steve. He was in my head. <laughs> my buddy Steve was in my head. And I thought, okay. You know, and then a number of my other friends started to become very prevalent in my head. You know, Ryan was in my head. You know, and the memory of me running this ultra marathon I did three years ago and him saying, this guy doesn't need any motivation. The pain kind of go out your ears. The pain go out your ears. I got this. I don't even need to motivate this guy. You know, then there was my buddy Steve, Hunter, who's like, uh, Dave, you know, you can do some speed work. You can get out on the track. You can start doing some 800s. You know, and people started to talk to me, right? Like the memories started to come back. And I thought, okay, I can do this. I got this. So August hits and what started to happen? I started bringing my two hour runs back. And then before I knew it, things were in motion. I was going places. I would racked up 50 hours of training in August. This is the kind of shakeup I needed. God, this is gorgeous out here. <laughs> Welcome to Island Lake, everybody, for another two hour run. This is day 11. <laughs> day 11 of running two hours or more. I don't know what to tell you guys. I really don't. Other than I am like flipping on top of the world. I was like, okay, I'm back. I'm all in. I'm going to do this. September comes. Yeah, there's a couple of road things happening there, right? You know, a couple of roadblocks happening. But, you know, you, you kind of navigate those and you push through. And then, you know, October comes. And then before you know it, I'm like continuously running and I'm improving and I'm, you know, meeting subscribers from the UK. David, I'm talking to you. Here's David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've come over from England. Uh, Dave and I have been keeping in touch uh, via the YouTube channel. And uh, we had this amazing run and my joy started to come back and I started to feel like I had this, I got this, I can start doing it. And then, my buddy Ryan, he starts running this FKT, like he's getting FKTs along the Bruce Trail. Like the Bruce Trail is like the longest trail that we have in Canada. And, and it goes from like Niagara Falls all the way up to Tobermory. And he's running sections, setting FKTs along the way, fastest known time. Oh, shit. Well, I was doubting sub five and a half. You know, and he started to empower me and he, you know, Kurt was there and Kurt was saying, Dave, you know, we could run an ultra marathon. You know, I'm signed up to run over in Sulphur Springs down in Ancaster in just outside Hamilton there. And all of these things, Ryan's like saying, hey, Dave, you can do this too. And Everyone's all now, everybody's now, now in my head and I'm thinking and I'm seeing improvement and I'm doing these runs and I'm, I'm looking at that I am, I am improving, I am getting better, my base mileage, I'm looking on Strava, I'm looking on my Kuros training hub and Kuros is amazing and 
course, like I was going through all of my runs to see where I was at. Was I in my, you know, right uh, heart rate training zone? Was I doing the tempo correctly? Was I all these things? I was in the right mental state, and I was like, "Yes, I got this!" And I started to, mm, it's the fire. The fire was lit, man. The fire was lit, and I thought, "Okay, this is good." And the next thing you know, here I am. Like on a boom, let's go out and I'm running a half marathon. And I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to give up halfway through. And I'm like, mm, no, it's not going to happen. And I push and, you know, I did something hard. And it was amazing. And I was so happy. <sighs> I almost got under two. Almost got under two. But did I look at any of the goals that I had set over the years, and the answer to all of it was, no, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't look at any of the goals, nothing. And then I looked at the goals before I started to do this video, and like, look at them, right? 2021, right? I'm losing weight, trying to run consistent, you know, cons consistently, trying to set PBs and, 5Ks and 10Ks and run, oh, run a marathon or a half marathon. And then the following year, yeah, Dave, you're going to go ahead and set more records. You're going to, you know, lose more weight. You're going to run a marathon. And then you look at, you know, last year and look, the thing is, meant much to me. I just put it on paper, hoping and, and trying to come up with something that I would actually do it. But I didn't. And because I didn't have enough why. So the question that I ask myself is, what are my dreams this year? I forget about New Year's resolutions, forget about goal setting, forget about all of that, right? I got my health, right? That's good enough, right? I have my family, that's good enough. Right? I've got a house. I've got clothes, food in the refrigerator. I've got the essentials in my life. Now, if I want to chase dreams and if I want to have goals and I want something to chase, then follow along on this journey because there will be a few things this year that I will be doing. And nothing is set in stone at the moment. However, good things are coming. I, right now, I'm probably in the best position I have been in in years. Mentally, physically, the weight has come off dramatically. Like, I go out for a run and I'm feeling really good. So, I mean, do I want to get under the two? Do I want to get under 200? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. Can I be there in maybe a month or so? Maybe, maybe not, maybe two. But look, being all honest, all serious here, I'm running. I'm a runner. Feel good. YouTube channel. Guys, I don't know how to even say thank you other than thank you. What a year it was. I'm going to do a video on the channel about, you know, how much I made on, on YouTube this year and you know, some of my biggest uh, videos that seem to have take off and whatnot. But that will be another video. But this is a video just kind of raw, uncut, except for a couple of spots in here, but of me just sharing kind of where I was, where I am now. I'm in a good place, guys. Good place. Good things are going to happen. Yeah, this may be a 20 minute video, but it is what it is. I appreciate all of you guys. So if you like, the videos, share it with friends. If you're liking any of the videos, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, because there's a, there's a significant number of you who watch my videos who aren't subscribed, maybe just hit that subscribe button and you know you get notified when I do post. That has to happen, like watching the video to the end to help YouTube push it out to more people. I appreciate it. And it really means a lot to me. So like I always say, get out and run. See you next week. Bye. Oh, and by the way, call someone you love.
I'm sure they'd love to hear from you.